All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to do your next project, uh, which is rolling five 10 inch coils, okay? I'm looking for them to be hand rolled in even thickness, around a quarter inch thick. There should be no cracking on the actual coils themselves, and I'm looking to make sure that they're not too dry when I bend them, that they don't crack as well. That's what I'm grading you on. <clears throat> so to do this, you're gonna need uh, a piece of clay, doesn't really matter what size, about the size of your fist or maybe a little larger. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it into a few pieces that are relatively as even. You don't need any kind of cutter, just tear it with your hands. So <clears throat> that's one, two, three, four, five. These are probably a little bigger than I need, uh, but I'm going to start rolling them. You can see that my table is partially dry up here, partially wet right here, and I'm going to be rolling on the wet area. If it gets too wet, I can dry it or I can add more water. Before you start rolling your coil, squeeze the coil very gently in your hand as you rotate it and get it into a round shape. It's always easier to start rolling a coil when it's already closer to the thickness you need. Don't squeeze too hard. We don't want any area to get too thin. Now that I've got a little plug started to begin with, I can put my coil down and begin rolling it. Another way to get your coil ready is to throw it at an angle. If I throw this coil at an angle, what's going to happen is it's going to slowly stretch the coil out and keep it a relative even thickness. You can try this if you want, and I can get almost all the way to a 10 inch coil without ever having to roll it. All right, so when I'm rolling the coil, one of the things that's going to happen is when you're rolling it, you're going to need to know where to put your hands. So if I roll it with my fingers like this, I'm gonna make a lot of small dents. If I push down really hard with my hands, I'm gonna flatten my coil, and it's gonna go thud, 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 thud. If you feel like it's falling over itself and making that thud kind of feeling, you're pushing down too hard. The pressure that I'm using is just the weight of my hands fully relaxed, and then I'm keeping that pressure, trying not to increase it, and rolling back and forth, keeping my fingers together. I'm using both hands, and I'm gonna be shifting my hands to the left and to the right, pulling a little bit sideways. This is gonna keep the thickness close to similar. I don't want one side to be thicker than the other. If you look at my coil right now, the left side right here is a little thicker than the right side. So I'm going to roll it on that side while shifting my hand to the left. I have a ruler here. I'm gonna measure because I need a 10 inch coil. So I have a 10 inch coil, and I'm looking for it to be roughly a quarter inch thick. My coil is close to an inch thick. So I need this coil to be thinner. I can probably get two coils out of this one. So I'm going to roll my coil back and forth. And if I have a coil that's too long, I can just pinch my coil in half and continue to roll it. Fingers together moving side to side. I don't want there to be any thin spots in my coil. I'm avoiding pushing down too hard with my hand, trying to use my palm more than my fingers. Now my coil is about the right thickness and it's longer than 10 inches. 10 inches is a minimum. That's a minimum. If it's 12 inches long, that's great. If it's 15 inches long, that's fine. I'm looking for your coils to be identical in their thickness, not necessarily in their length, at least 10 inches long. Now I'm gonna roll another coil. Now that I have my two coils, I can compare them and see that this coil is a little bit thinner than this coil. So I can roll this one a little thinner if I want them to be more even. Now I have two coils. Time to start a few more. At this point, if you get the idea, you can stop watching the video and continue to roll your coils. 
but I'm going to finish this video by finishing my five coils all to be the same. Here's what I'm looking for. I have five coils, all pretty close to the same thickness and at least 10 inches long. Thanks for watching.